Hello guys, happy Wednesday. So it's been a little bit since I did a proper live and I wanted to check in with everybody and share a little bit today on what really matters. If you are wanting to actually love your body, um, I talk a lot about how you can start feeling comfortable, capable, and confident in your body because I think that is super important and everyone deserves to love the body that they're in, um, as well as being healthy on your terms. That's what I do. I'm a holistic health and fitness coach. I help people both love their bodies and live healthy on their terms. So anyone who's wanting to get healthy, um, working with me is a really good way to do that. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit about kind of my values, my philosophy on it, because it's really what sets me apart from all of the other health coaches and the fitness coaches out there. Because I don't, while I started off as a personal trainer in a box gym, I really don't consider myself a trainer anymore. Um, because I think my philosophy differs so much now from kind of the standard in the health and fitness industry. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that because when you feel like you're not happy in your body, you know you need to get healthier. Um, first of all, like what does get healthier mean? Um, I know for me that really looks like um, actually having the energy um, to be able to live life on your terms, to do all the things that are important to you. Um, so now that we've cleared up what is getting healthy. Um, uh, so I think what a lot of trainers and what a lot of the health and fitness industry really push is this mentality that like if you want to get healthy, if you want to get fit, you have to do this like massive lifestyle overhaul and you're going to be doing intense workouts every single day. You are going to put yourself on this super restrictive diet and you are going to be disciplined beyond belief and do all of these things and turn into like this total like gym rat meathead who's obsessed with their pre and post workout shakes and like they got to do their workouts, their lives start to revolve around their CrossFit gym or whatever gym they go to. Um, they don't do social outings with friends because it's going to interfere with their diet. And it's like, I mean, raise your hand if you're just like, that is so not for me because that's not for me. <laughs> um, and let me tell you, like I started off with that mindset. I mean, I started off what, over 10 years ago in a local box gym as a personal trainer. I was brand new to it. I was still relatively new to even working out and all that. I really didn't start exercising um, until I was in college. So when I was about 18, I mean, technically I'd started exercising before that because I was in physical therapy through high school. But before that, I'd never done real exercise. I never did sports as a kid. Um, so I was a very impressionable young trainer and I hopped onto every single fad and and, you know, I tried it all out myself, too, um, to my credit. I, I didn't tell people to do anything that I wasn't doing. That's always been a major value for me. Um, but I got to experience firsthand how devastating that approach to health and fitness can be, especially when you are living with health issues, with undiagnosed health issues, especially when you are living with any kind of chronic pain, whether that pain comes from, like for me, it came from a hypermobility disorder. It's a genetic thing. Um, but also, I mean, I ended up working with a lot of clients. Um, I kind of became the magnet for anyone who had kind of musculoskeletal issues, whether it was like they had been recently discharged from physical therapy and they wanted to kind of ease back into it. Um, or, you know, they just didn't feel great um, with their body. And so that's always been a huge focus of mine is really helping people overcome those, like the aches and pains, the chronic injuries, that sort of thing. Um, but even for myself going through the, like the high intensity workouts and the restrictive diets and the supplements, um, it was devastating. I really hit rock bottom with my health because of those things and because I was, you know, not actually diagnosed and taking care of myself properly. Um, but, so that's always, that's always an issue. But the big thing I wanted to talk about today is like, because of all of that experience, um, I've really refined what my values are when it comes to 
movement and exercise and just being healthy. Um, and this is what carries over into how I coach my clients. And so I wanted to share that today so that you can, um, sorry, my husband's popping through. Hello, husband. Um, but so that you can actually kind of start to wrap your mind around what kind of mindset do you need to start making changes? And I want you to understand that you don't have to do intense workouts. You don't have to do restrictive diets. And you definitely don't need to spend tons of money on um, expensive supplements in order to love your body, in order to get strong. If you want to be fit, whatever that looks like for you, whether it's you know having the energy and the stamina and the strength to be able to just live life the way you want to live. So like you don't have to be stuck doing workouts every single day if that's not what you want. Um, so with my clients and with my programs and um, with the upcoming program that's going to be starting here in a couple weeks, August 1st, yay, it's going to be exciting. It's a three-month stress-free lifestyle transformation program. I'll be talking more about that over the next few weeks. Um, but the big thing with those is I don't believe in cookie cutter programs for people. I believe in meeting people with where they're at and helping them get clear on where they're currently at and where they want to be and then helping them get there, not imposing what I think they need to do, not always telling them, oh, you just need to do these workouts. Oh, you just need to do these diets. Um, that doesn't work for people. So instead, what does work, and this is what I do with my clients, and this is what I encourage you to do for yourself, whether you want to work with me or you're doing this on your own or you're working with another coach, whatever you're doing. This is the mindset that I approach working with clients, and this is what I think really makes the difference. It's how I have approached my own health and fitness journey. It has what it's been what has changed my life. It is what took me from being at the lowest point with my health um, and in the most pain because my body was just not happy um, and really just hating my body and not being healthy, not having the energy and the ability to live life on my terms. So this is these are the values that I encourage you to have instead of intense workouts, restrictive diets, expensive supplements, like those, it's, unless that is a lifestyle that you truly enjoy and it works for you, um, if, if you don't enjoy those things, you do not have to have them in order to be healthy and love your body and love your life. So the big things here, one, um, like I said before, I really strongly believe that every single person should be comfortable, capable, and confident in their bodies. And that is a mindset I strongly encourage that you cultivate for yourself, a belief that I really encourage you to get behind because it's true. You should never have to settle with feeling like crap in your body. You just shouldn't. And it doesn't matter. Like I can go on and on about this. This is one of my soapboxes, but I spent my entire life in pain and not getting answers and having professionals, actual professionals who have spent years in med school and whatnot, telling me that I could never expect better, that I needed to toughen up, that I was being too weak, that I was going to need surgeries, I was going to need this, I was going to need that, and that I was going to have to settle with not liking my body, spending my entire life feeling uncomfortable in my body. And that is a load of bullshit, guys. If you have gone through something similar or if you are buying into the garbage that we are fed in our society that like as mothers, oh, you're just going to deal with aches and pains. Oh, you're just going to deal with um, incontinence. Newsflash, guys, if you have had children or even if you haven't and you have urinary leaking, that is not normal and it is fixable. So don't buy into that garbage that... You just have to accept that, that the aches and pains as you get older are just normal and that you're going to have to just deal with it. All of those things, whenever your body is telling you that it's not happy, it's because it's telling you that so that you can fix it. So there's a way to fix it. I promise. I have a genetic hypermobility disorder. It is in my genes. I should not, like there's supposedly, I, there's a certain level I should not be able to exceed. I still exceed it. I still am able to run and it feels good. I don't have to have braces. 
Um, I live life to the fullest. I live life on my terms and I don't buy into all of that garbage that I have to settle and neither should you. So there's that soapbox. Don't settle. If you're not happy in your body, there is a way to fix it. I promise. So come talk to me if you need help with that. Um, next one. This is another big one. Living a healthy lifestyle and making healthy changes and pretty much anything that falls under the umbrella of being healthy, um, especially in terms of being healthy so that you can live life on your terms, that whole umbrella should be easy and enjoyable, always. If it is not easy, if it is not enjoyable, you will not stick with it, you will not get the results, and you won't enjoy life. So there's literally no point in making changes um, for in the name of health that you hate. There's no point. That's not health because, yes, it might improve your health physically, but if it is sucking your soul dry because you hate it so much, then it's not worth it. And I really strongly believe that all health changes, all health choices, anything that creates the lifestyle that you live, if it does not support your health, like body, mind, and soul, and if it is not easy and enjoyable, it's not worth doing. And so that is a big one that we work on in my program that's coming up as well as my one-to-one -one clients. That is a huge thing we work on is really simplifying health and fitness, everything should be easy and enjoyable. It truly should, or we just don't do it. So you do not have to make changes that you hate. You don't have to force yourself to do things that are super hard that you hate. You just don't. There's a million ways to get where you want to go. So you don't have to choose the path that's like taking you through like thorny, horrible brambles that's full of like things that you're going to trip on and fall on your face. Like you just don't have to do it. So I hope that helps you. Um, feel a little better, a little more optimistic about <laughs> your health and fitness journey. Um, so let me see, I had a couple things written down too, so to make sure I don't forget because I ramble. So sorry guys if I ramble. Um, next, obviously, um, and this is the one that I think everyone gets this, like obviously anything that you do, it should be effective, right? But the caveat to that is that you should never have to feel guilty or anxious. You should never be concerned that you're doing things right because right is going to be different for every single person. Um, so you should always, whatever you're doing, it should obviously be effective. It should obviously be giving you tangible results. Um, whether it's like, like you can tell your clothes are fitting better or you can tell your stress levels have decreased. You can tell that you're happier. Like you should be getting definite results pretty dang quickly off of whatever you're doing. Um, and that is one of the lovely parts of like having a coach um, like me with my experience, I kind of know what to look for. So instead of like feeling like you're throwing spaghetti at the wall and you're like, I don't even know if any of this works. I don't know like how long it's going to take. I don't know anything. I'm just going to try it. And then as soon as I finally just give up, like maybe it could have worked. You never know. Um, but that's the nice thing about having someone like me to support you. Cause I know what to look for and I know, um, what steps you really want to take to get you from A to B, um, or A to Z, really. Um, and I know what to look for in between. So I know, like, yes, you might not have gotten your full, like, big, long-term dream goal. You might not have reached that yet, but I can see that you have hit all of these other little milestones, so we know you're on track. And that's how it should be. You should always be making progress and feeling good and enjoying it um, and obviously getting some kinds of tangible results. So you should never have to be worrying about whether you're doing it right. And along the way, you should not have to feel guilty or anxious because you're like not doing what you're supposed to be doing, whatever that means. So that's one thing we work on in my program is really finding what is right for you um, so that there's no... There's no confusion, there's no guilt, there is no feeling like you're supposed to be doing something. Like you just know, you know what you're doing, you're confident it's gonna get you there and you are just certain and you're enjoying it the whole way through. So it's really well, really well worth it. So um, finally, my last two huge things, my big values that I think every single person should have when it comes to their health and fitness 
strategy, their plan, their journey, whatever you want to call it, two things. Flexibility. Let's talk about flexibility for just a sec because I think we often think that you're going to be on this plan and then it's never going to change. And then there's always that frustration when like life throws the curveball or something shifts, you go into a new season of life and you're just like, I can't keep doing what I was doing, but it was working so well, or maybe it wasn't, you never know. Um, you have to be able to be flexible and it's so important to know how to shift as the curveballs come or as like, I mean, school's going to be starting soon, right? Like things are going to have to shift. So it's a lot better to be able to predict that shift and then to confidently be able to flexibly create whatever or flexibly alter your plan so that you continue getting those results and you continue supporting yourself and living that life that you love. Um, as opposed to just getting like totally sidelined and falling off the wagon and being really frustrated. So flexibility is super key. And I think that's what a lot of programs are missing because they're just like, no, you just follow this program to the T. And if you don't follow the program to the T, you're just not going to succeed. That's not a good program. That's terrible. <laughs> so that's what we focus on in my program is making sure that you not only have the skills to be flexible when you need to, but you have the confidence to roll with it and make it work for you no matter what, because it needs to work for you, not the other way around. You don't change yourself to fit the program. The program needs to fit you. So that's what we do. Finally, the last thing is sustainability. And I think that is another thing many programs are really missing because again, they're like, no, you just stick with the program for forever. You're like, oh great, so I keep spending $200 a month on these expensive supplements for forever? Like, what if the company goes out of business? What do I do then? Or, you know, what if I don't have internet and I can't do the workouts that were that are on, online that I'm paying the subscription for? Um, you know, what if I can't get the diet stuff that I need? Like, that's not sustainable, especially if you're doing like super intensive workouts and super restrictive diets and buying all these supplements. Like, that is not sustainable. You, do you really picture yourself doing that when you're 80 years old? I don't. So, that's another thing that is super important in a program and in whatever you are choosing to do to support your health and reach your fitness goals. You have to have sustainability. So whatever you're doing, it needs to be easy, effective, enjoyable, and then obviously sustainable. So that is all what we work on in my programs. Um, but also that is what you should just imagine just bringing all of those values into your life and letting those guide you along your journey. It clarifies things so beautifully. It really does. If like if, if it's not easy, if it's not effective, it's not enjoyable, it's not sustainable, then it's a very easy no. <laughs> so I hope that helps you. Let me know if you want more information about the Stress-Free Lifestyle Transformation. It's a three-month program that's coming up August 1st. I'll be sharing a little bit more about it over the next few weeks. But let me know how those values sit with you, whether you like them or not. Um, I'm always curious to hear how, what you think. But let me know too, if you want more information on the Stress-Free Lifestyle Transformation Program, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've got a few spots left and don't think that you can't afford it because you can and it's worth it. Um, and I have three price points to make it really worth work, work for you, worth it and work for you. There, I'm trying to say the two things at the same time. So. Let me know what I can do to support you. And um, I'm not going to say the price points here because I would like to actually be able to talk with you and see if you're going to be a good fit for the program. Make sure it will work for you, though I'm sure it will. So let me know. Have a beautiful day, guys, and thank you for watching. Bye.